John found this picture and he's calling it, did you ever want to hide from the problems of the day? <laughs> and here comes my partner in crime right here. <laughs> How are you guys today? I'm well, I'm just well. Things are good. Um, we're starting to look towards Thanksgiving. Things are shaping up. Today is Wednesday, November 2nd. One last Halloween thing. It's not a picture. My girlfriend's daughter was going crazy because nobody put Almond Joy in her kid's bag. Okay, you all know that when kids were little, you pick out what you want when they were in bed because they don't remember. You all know you've done it, okay? And so um, she... <laughs> She was really upset, and I told her mom, Karen, my, my BFF, this is how you do it. I was, I love baby Ruth. I love baby Ruth. So I had a deal with all the kids in the neighborhood. If they came the day after Halloween and gave me one baby Ruth, I'd give them two furs. They could take two things at what's left over of my stuff. <laughs> so. You get the word on the street. I had one kid come over here. He was probably 10 houses down with a bunch of baby roots. <laughs> he could pick through my stuff. The other funny thing is that John, I just said one last thing, but now it's two. John always, in the last couple of years, wants to give big candy bars, all right? And so I, did, I got him. And these little kids are used to getting in there and grabbing a bunch. <laughs> so I was like, no, ah, get it. Can't have five of those, kid. So we didn't hardly have any trick or treaters, and um, we don't have any candy left. But you know what? It's fine with me. Absolutely fine with me. So I hope you're all coming along with your baskets here. I I I've been getting some interesting questions. Uh, one specifically from Yolanda. And I'll talk about that at the end of everything that I will be addressing on Monday. Uh, so uh, on Monday, which was Halloween, look at, yeah, she's there. <laughs> yes, we see you. Um, I, we were out at the warehouse on Halloween and Suzanne always makes the warehouse look so cute. And what we decided to do was, what are some of the favorite fabric collections and things that we have out there? So we have, I, went, I got this picture, so adorable. Again, it was shot on Monday, but I asked Susanna if she's going to keep it up for a couple days, and she said, yeah. So we went out there, uh, got some video, and I want to show you some of the new cool fabrics that we got and something else really great from Quilter Select. So... I am going to get going on this because this video was a little long, but can you ever have too much time shopping? I mean, really. And honestly, for me, it was the first time I had seen a lot of these fabrics. Uh, we have one room that's just fabrics. It's like bundles and bundles and bundles of fabrics. And then um, the back room is more notions and stuff like that. And I said, well, we got to show people these fabrics that we have. So let's take a look, see. I'm going to pull up the video, and here we go. Kristen and Suzanne. Kristen is our marketing person, puts together patterns and all that kind of stuff. Suzanne runs the warehouse and customer service. So they're both beloved in the organization and have completely different um, titles, or I don't know, titles, but, but they work together well, especially in choosing fabric. <laughs> You're going to see. All right, everybody, I am the camera person right here. It is Halloween. Hello. We have Suzanne and we have Kristen. <laughs> uh -oh. Now, these two ladies are behind the scenes, but without them, we would be stuck in the water. Let me tell you right now. And okay, let's go back to here. I see we have a sound issue. Sound, 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 sound. Can I want to help me with? John, I may need you in here. It seems we're having a sound issue. I could hear it oh, you could? I could hear it this one. Oh, I couldn't hear it on mine. Oh, maybe I'm on mute. Okay, let's start again. Hang by. Maybe it's just me. What else is new? It's going to start over. All right, everybody. I am the camera person right here. It is 
Halloween. Hello. We have Suzanne and we have Kristen. <laughs> now these two ladies are behind the scenes, but without them we would be stuck in the water. Let me tell you right now. And so what we're doing are really cool stuff that's come into the warehouse, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. We and have you lots of it. And how did you guys determine what you were gonna be show and tell today? We each picked our favorites. Yes. Yeah. And then we tried to make sure we had a variety so that everybody would see something that um, they would uh -huh. think was pretty too. Okay, and who made that beautiful quilt behind you? Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know, do we have patterns for that? We, we do. do. Okay, awesome. Okay, so who wants to go first? Suzanne can go first. Okay, so um, we have this very interesting, oh, maybe I'll, here, where's the scissors? <gasps> this bundle, I would swear that it's glow-in-the-dark fabric. <laughs> Perfect for Halloween. You're right. <laughs> but I don't think it is. <laughs> Who's it by? How... It's beautiful. This is by RJR Fabrics. Uh-huh. And it's got really I'll pretty... You can put them out and I'll smooth them. Mushrooms. I know, and it's just beautiful. so Look at that interesting. One. So pretty. Wow, I, I wonder is there a, a designer attached to it? Do you know? I know I'm asking you questions without, you know, prompting, but wow, this is fabulous. I know. And it's a, it looks really different when you undo the bundle. It gives a sort of a different impression of the colors. I think the colors are really beautiful and they and when you just see the bundle, it's kind of hard to get that. Yes. Idea. You know, I, so... I, I'm sorry, go ahead. It's very, um, like this one, makes me think of psychedelic. <laughs> Did you ever have that toy with the squeegee yes. thing and you would draw on it and then erase it? It was like that. Or like when you take your color, yeah, you, then you have your color crayons and you put black on top and then you, you know, go through. Yeah. You know, I used mm -hmm. to work with RJR. I love the company. And this is really outside the box for them in the most wonderful way. Yes. Just look at mm. this one. The colors. Mm-mm-mm. So, okay, so okay, and what's and this, this collection? This one is called Luminous Daydream by RJR. Okay. And this is a fat quarter bundle, which you probably guessed. Okay, so you're up next, girl. All right, I will go for, ta-da! This is called Horizon. It is by Robert Calvin. And if, Suzanne, can I get scissors? And I'm gonna <clears throat> chop this open for you. I like this because it's kind of mid-century modern and it has, um, I, I really like the colors, but I also really like this <gasps> texture. I think that this um, nice background texture just adds a little special something. Mm -hmm. um, they're not quite blenders, although some of, the, so some of them are. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so I think see. they could be, yeah. Yeah, like this. Oy. I know, really a nice, this reminds me of um, Palm Springs maybe. And I believe these are mango leaves. Oh my which is gosh. Very interesting. Oh my gosh. How did yeah. you know that? I read about it when I was putting it in the store. <laughs> <laughs> I read the description. This, one is, oh, this one is so pretty. I just love the colors. I wondered if you had a mango. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thought I'd been missing out on free mangoes. <laughs> these are amazing. Are these? And who's this by again? This is Robert, Robert Kaufman. Kaufman. Okay. Yeah, and again, it is called Horizon. I love I know. this. Mm -hmm. It's like Hawaii, 1960s, Los Angeles. Oh, well, I would know. We were just there. <laughs> Get out your paddleboard <laughs> with your dog. Oh, wow. <laughs> and these are ready to ship right now, right? They are. Wow. Oh, wait. I want to see that feather one before that. The one before. Oh, this one? I know. Yeah. I, this is my yeah. favorite print. Wow. I think it's so pretty. I could see that in a neutrals quilt to help pop mm -hmm. in a little bit of color. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. It's kind of got everything you need. Also, it's got some feature prints, some blenders. You could just take this and make something with it by itself. Love it. Okay. Suzanne, you're right. next. I have, to get, I have to get you repositioned. Get there we go. Okay. So this one is by Art Gallery Fabrics. Levian Rose is what it's called. And this one has prettiest colors. 
<clears throat> I like art gallery stuff, yes. you know? And they're the ones that are saving us with our background with the BOM, right? No, who is it? Paintbrush Studio. Paintbrush. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Just pretend I didn't say that. Look at these. Yeah. Look at that. <gasps> Love this big flower there. You know what I like is for a while there, there were just kind of all these, I don't know what kind of prints I would say, but not things that played nicely with other things. And these are just gorgeous and will play with other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. This one's interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> right? Yeah. I know it's cool. That would be good for fussy cutting. Yeah. And if you don't like it, you could cut it in smaller pieces, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's super cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> oh, uh -oh. look what's coming. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that one is beautiful. Ties all the colors in together. Okay. Oh, that one's pretty too. Yes. This one's pretty too. It has some peach. Wow. Wow. So let's just go up here. And what's the name of this one again? Lavian Rose. There we go. All right. Okay, thank you. Kristen, right. you're next. Oh, okay, this is one of my favorite favorites and you're gonna laugh when it when I tell you why. This <laughs> is called, uh, this is by Clothworks. It is called Sleepy Time and it is designed by Helen Dardick. And Helen Dardick is an illustrator and I've actually been following Helen Dardick for quite a while before she did fabric for Clockworks. So it was sort of funny when I saw this and then realized that it was her. Is she pretty much a kid illustrator? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So who among us is old enough <laughs> to have had Tupperware animal toys oh, where <laughs> you took the pieces apart and it was like a little a head and a trunk and ears. By that Tupperware? Is, yeah, it was by Tupperware and it was in the like late 60s, early 70s. Oh my gosh. Suzanne's not old enough. She didn't know what she was talking about. <laughs> it's always color forms that people don't know. Oh, and that was yeah. my go-to. Oh, these the, are I adorable. I just think these are so cute. The birds are adorable. Helen and all of Helen Dardick's work is like this. It's just, it's just sort of mid-century, um, fun, colorful. Oh man. Ooh, I'm running out of room. I'm gonna slide that toward you. Thank you. <laughs> I need bungee cords for my arms. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, look at this. Isn't that cute? Ooh, that one's pretty. Yeah, I know. I love That's my favorite color combination. Mm -hmm. Pink and red. Okay. Right. I like the variety that you ladies pick for us, right? Mm hmm Okay, Miss Suzanne. <laughs> All right. Okay, next is a very much of a favorite of a lot of people. I picked that one, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Allison Glass. So this is by Andover, and it's called Between. And look, there's a smile face. Where's that? Smile face. Oh, oh cute. Okay, so cute. Now, who's who's this with again? I'm sorry, Andover. Okay. Yes. This one's cute. It's got little mm. moons. Oh, Allison Glass always has such beautiful colors. Mm-hmm. Look at that. And they're it's okay. I'm going to tell you right now. It resonates a little bit differently here, which is interesting on the screen. They're beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh, that's yeah. cool. I'm so glad I don't do fabric anymore. Let somebody <laughs> else do it because they're doing just beautiful work. Okay. <clears throat> There's that one again. No, we hadn't seen that one yet. Look at the variety in this. Yes. All right. Okay. This one's cute. Mm-hmm. I like movie lines like that. Moving. Wow. <clears throat> and did anyone notice the snail? Oh, <laughs> so cute. Cute. I know we always like animals. And animals yes. Especially when they're kind of hidden. Yeah. I like it's unexpected. 
And then the last two are white, oh, three. Wow. Every color. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. And again, this is? This is by Andover. It is called Between. Okay, cool. You're up next. Okay. Miss Kristen. Wait, did you see how tall this is? <laughs> <laughs> This is by Moda Fabrics. It is called Slow Stroll, and it is designed by Stephanie Slewinski. And this bundle has, oh, it doesn't say how many pieces are in it. A lot a of lot. pieces in it. <laughs> <laughs> and this also has a panel. So we're gonna show the pieces. Does it say in here how many pieces? No. Um, I'm gonna show the pieces and then the panel. Okay. So, it, and this is nice. I like this because it's, you know, some people like colors that are a little bit more traditional, and these are a little bit more traditional, but not like so traditional. Mm -hmm. It's like a modern interpretation of. I I agree. Yeah. I agree. And I like that. I really like this one. Look at this, look at this one, acorns. Oh, so cute. <clears throat> okay. And this has, it's like a nice muted rainbow of colors. It's mm -hmm. perfect for fall. If you want to put together a, you know, like a Thanksgiving mm -hmm. decoration or a Thanksgiving quilt. So nice. You know, this kind of reminds me of Edita a little bit. Yeah. Especially these. Maybe a little more, um, not quite as traditional as Edita, but those beaut the tones. The yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. This is, that's kind of. Ooh. Okay. I'm yeah, this is a biggie. A Start a new row at the end of the green. So one row. Okay. Oh, I know. This is a biggie. Ooh, I, that's nice. That's, uh -huh. that's cool. Yeah. It's like, ooh, this one's cute. Like the different How do colors. you guys not spend money? I'm serious. <laughs> I, this is the first time I've seen this, and I would go broke working for us. Because this is like our stash. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. That's true. We, okay. we I don't that feel. It's here. Yeah. Like like the warehouse is your stash? Yes. <laughs> what does that feel like? <laughs> Great. I know. It's, yeah. I mean, you always Ooh. know that it's here. It's here. So I'm here, here it, every day. I can, I can look at it. Yeah. And if you want to make something out of it, buy it. I got a good deal for you. <laughs> God, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just for the record, we have two holdouts here that aren't quilters. We'll get them. I'm going to push that forward a little Although bit. they love That's the okay. fabric. <clears throat> I think this one's my favorite. And to think, once upon a time, I didn't like orange. What was <laughs> I missing? Okay. okay. We're almost to the bottom of the fat quarters. There's a ton in here. make something no. big with this. Yeah. You really could. Wow. Or or coordinating items like you the, know the crazy yeah. things is that this this would make a killer scrap quilt yes. and yet coordinated it together yes. a killer it would be so pretty I can't wait for the overview here like the okay. one behind <laughs> okay oh the panel the okay. panel. hold on a second I want to just do this do that ah. if you get this bundle and it has drools on it it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> and Suzanne, I'm going to ask you to take the one side of the panel. I'm going to pull Here's back. Your corner. I think we're upside down. I think you are too. Okay. Well, you know, panels are really hot right now. Oh, it's higher. Okay. All right. Should we? I don't know yeah, I'll stand up. Standing up. Oh, wow. So this has nice um, Thanksgiving ish messages. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect for holiday, family, that kind of thing. Love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love it. And again, this is. Where did we. Put where did the paper go? <laughs> it is. I'm sorry. It's this is called Live floor. People. It is Slow Stroll by Moda Fabrics. Thank and you. Designed by Stephanie Slowinski. Thank you. Look at that. <sighs> so pretty. I think so. Okay, so what do we have next over there, Miss right. Suzanne? We have a beautiful bundle that we made here in the warehouse. Oh, you curated this? 
Well, it's a collection, but we cut it all and bundle it all okay, okay. with a beautiful ribbon. Not all fabrics are available in bundles, so mm -hmm. sometimes oh. you can get bundles of fabric from us that you could not get elsewhere, because if we really like it and they don't sell bundles pre-cut, we will buy the fabric and cut it into bundles for you. Okay. And this one is called Noel by Figo Fabrics. The pretty thing about this one is there's golden um, accents that are really I nice. love the stylizing of those trees. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know you, this one is not your favorite, Alex. Because but... nutcracker. <laughs> <laughs> got, got some gnomes for Robin. <laughs> This one's beautiful. What happened to me as a child? Mm -hmm. I would hate nutcrackers. <laughs> oh, but that makes up for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. very cute. You know what's nice is that the colors are off and different. Yes. Yeah. And that's what I saw this past Halloween. The colors mm -hmm. were... I think more sophisticated, I guess yes. is what you would say. Yes. Okay. It's a very nice Christmas bundle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. Beautiful. And, and this one comes in half yard bundles and fat quarter bundles. Nice. Okay, cool. What do we have back there? All right. I see Christmas. All right. So, ah. Oh. This is another one that comes in a half yard and a fat quarter bundle. And this is another one that we cut. And this is by Paintbrush Studio. And it is called Mod Christmas Birds. Okay. And this is a small collection. It only has six pieces in it. So it's not going to break the bank for you. Oh my gosh. The I, oh. I know. Oh. And look. It's <clears throat> so sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh. This, this is what I'm talking about where the colors yes. are a little more sophisticated. Yes. Grown up. Yes. Oh. oh, stop it. <laughs> we had yellow finches in my yard growing up when I was a kid. My parents would buy special bird seed to attract we do. them. Yeah. We do. So cute. Okay, next. Um, should we do um, kits? Yes, sure. let's do the yeah. kits. Okay, this kit is called Little Nugget. Okay, we got a problem oh. here. Oh, should I take it out? No, of it's pack? okay. Now it's good. Okay. Okay. Are so, those little hedgehogs? That's why I oh, love Oh my gosh, look at that. So it's a very unexpected quilt. You think it's just pinwheels. pinwheels. Yeah, yeah. And then when you get close, you see that these lines are stitched on. So really... You could make any animal that is a round animal. Uh -huh. You know, well, hedgehogs is so mean they're super stitched on. What do you mean? So this is just black thread for the nose and the legs that you embroider on afterwards. So you could make oh. turtles, any kind of round animal. <laughs> <laughs> turtles, penguins, you know. So cute. Oh, it's hedgehogs so cute. are adorable, but oh, cute! But you don't realize it until you get close. Okay, tip it my way a little bit. There we go. Adorable. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Who thought of that? Um, we don't know. Meegs and me. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Meegs, we love you. This. Oh my gosh, you need weightlifting. You, yes. Now you may recognize this if you watch our show. This quilt. Um, was just on our show. That's this right. very recent one. This is designed by Robin Long, mm -hmm. and it is called Eden's Flower. And the kit it's includes beautiful. all of these beautiful fabrics that you see in the picture, and it includes some special rulers that make this medallion that you see. It looks kind of hard to make. Mm -hmm. the medallions have a reputation. It makes it much, much, much easier to make the medallion. You wow. use sort of a, a, a process with rulers that's just 
you sew two pieces together, you cut it, you sew two more pieces together. She shows you in the show and mm -hmm. it's really not hard. Cool. So you can make this giant, beautiful quilt that, and impress your friends. And impress <laughs> with, me. With, with your skills. But it's really just a beautiful mm -hmm. quilt, isn't it? I mean, oh the my fabrics gosh, yes. are so rich. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Really nice. I think there's one last kit back there. Two kits. Two kits. Two kits, okay? Okay, so beneath the stars is a beautiful bald eagle. Oh my mom. Do you want me to like take it? it out? No, I'm okay. It's not shining. Yes. And we liked this one because it, because it has the stars that are Kristen and I's favorite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then trees, which is one of my favorites as well. Awesome. And you should turn it around and show that, that this is how what the fabric is like inside the bag. It's just this beautiful watercolory, mm. really, really pretty. Mm. And that's all the fabric in the kit, I think, is that it's, style. It's got um, a panel in the center. Mm -hmm. Okay. We also sell the panel um, with a bundle. So we've made half yard bundles out of the whole collection of okay. fabric okay. and it includes this panel. Okay. And I see one last one, one over there. One last one. Okay. This is another biggie. Okay. This is called Traverse. It's designed by Tara Fawn and Tara Fawn was a guest on our show about right. a year ago. And the fun thing Tara's about- Tara's in my mini group. This, oh, that's right, yeah, she yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. I know, she's so nice. So the great thing about this kit is it's made in strips. So you can focus on one strip at a time and there's really nothing in it that is so hard that you can't do for one strip. Right, you right, know? right, yeah, right, right, yeah. right. And it's just really a, a fun, colorful kit. And I'm just gonna open the end. I don't know if you'll be able to get a close up. These fabrics are shot cottons from Wyndham Fabrics and they're oh. really lovely, lovely fabrics. Look at the colors, but see, she's yeah. a colorist, man. She, she, she is, is, she's that's a colorist. She does. Yeah, that's her that's thing. What she does. <clears throat> okay, last but not least, I am excited about something here. And we have ruler holders. <laughs> Yay. I have to say that these were inspired by Deanna Loader's husband. Um, he made some small things for our retreat. And um, I said to QS, we've got to have them. Because I don't know about you guys, but we have, rulers are everywhere. I don't even know how many you can fit in here, but a lot. There's a lot more room in that. A lot more, yeah. And then there's a little um, place here to put your tools in on both sides. But what that also does is it makes it so it doesn't tip over, you know? Yes. And so we have one size that is for our regular rulers. I suppose any regular ruler would really fit in it. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a machine quilting one. So I have this one on my Q20 and this one is right by my cutting. I love it. And that slots on the machine quilting one are wider to accommodate mm -hmm. for the machine quilting rulers. Exactly, exactly. So we have a lot here, you guys. Now let me just mm -hmm. ask you one more thing. Suzanne, <laughs> are you ready for the warehouse sale? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm getting ready and excited. Okay, so. me too. And we and Kristen, you're working on how they can sign up, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. And that should be available very soon. Okay, cool. Yeah, within cool. the next two days, I think. Okay, well, you guys, thank you so much for letting us come in and take over. And um, I hope Halloween tonight is wonderful for you. But again, this is Wednesday. We'll, I'm sure we'll all survive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Well, that was fun, right? And I mean, that's just scratching at it. Now, uh, Cindy Clark, you asked, what was the name of the fabric line with the uh, little fun characters. I was hoping somebody here on the side would put it up. What you can do, you guys, if you see something on one of these lives, you go, what was that? You know you can access this. Just go, and they call it in the, um, in the video world, scrub forward at the bottom till you get to that point, and then you can find out what it is. So if you ever miss anything on these, that's what you can do. You can just go back, scrub, and watch it. I don't know. I don't know if you guys thought that was fun or whatever, but we were thinking we should probably do it more often. And this is in lieu of you not being at Houston and able to shop or <laughs> bring Houston to your door. Now, the other thing I want to tell you, and I spoke about it earlier, you'll next Monday, okay, wait, 
Friday is Barbara Black, right? She is at Houston, but she's coming through for us to guide us through the BOM. And remember, if you join now, you have access to this year's BOM and next year's BOM. And that is for like 49 bucks a year. And in that, you get access to all the shows and all that good stuff, all right? But um, Barbara, Barbara, well, I just, I just, I looked, I saw a squirrel. There. Barbara will be here Friday. She's going to pull it off. I don't know how because she's at Houston. And then D will be here Saturday with her D Saturday sampler. Then on Monday, what's going to happen is I'm going to talk about setting this with these broken dishes that we've made behind me. But in the meantime, Yolanda wrote me. And she doesn't want to make the big quilt. And I'm sorry this is blurry, but I wanted you to get the gist of what I'm... Yolanda wanted to know, what do I cut those setting triangles in if I'm not going to make the whole quilt? And what is the number that you would cut those triangles? They're half square triangles. So that isn't... That, that was a little... We were going back and forth and we weren't quite communicating. And then I think I got it. I will also on Monday show how I figured out what to tell Yolanda to cut those triangles up because it's not cut like anything in the pattern. In the pattern, they're quarter square triangles. What she was asking for were the measurements of half square triangles. And because the whole, the four baskets are set on point, it gets, it gets wacky. It becomes wacky, but it's, I, I, thought, I'm going to have to get out a piece of paper and draw this. And I did, and I figured it out. So, John, you're in here hanging. What's up? Everybody wants to know about Kristen's sweater. Oh, everybody wants to know about Kristen's sweater. I don't know, but it's cute, right? I Well, she could have crocheted it. She's really, really handy. She's good. All right. Who made the no L line? Again, Robbie, you're going to have to go back to the beginning and just scrub through till we get to that. I only wrote down one name and that was Robert Kaufman. <laughs> that was the one that I wrote down. The Maybe the second one with kind of the retro, uh, she was saying like Palm Springs look to it and all that, that really caught my eye. You know, you see these things in bundles and that's one thing that the colors seduce you. But when we open them up or you open it up, then you have colors plus prints seducing you. So, okay, let's do this more often. Great fun. Okay, great, great. Okay, so um, I'll see you Monday, but in the meantime, Barbara's here for you, same time, same place, on Friday, and again, D on Saturday. And then for my rest of the day, I'm really excited. I'm getting two interviews this afternoon. And one is with a person who has a special exhibit at Houston. And if you can't be there, you're going to see something that's going to blow your flipping socks off. So I'll get those in queue for us too coming up very, very soon. Have a wonderful day. I will see you. Um, I will see you on Monday. So Becky, what the deal is, is with the warehouse sale. Um, I mean, we'll end up doing some sort of Black Friday thing online or whatever, but but so many people have asked to see the warehouse and it's very small as far as warehouses go it's very cute and so john came up with the idea of let's just do that so basically it is for locals because they can get here when you get the sign up i will alert you when you can sign up when you get it it's going to be really really weird because it's going to be in five minute increments and that's because truly we can only accommodate about five people within, not in checkout, but within the warehouse at the same time because it's so small. Um, you know, and yet we're flexible in this and that, but it's going to be the Thursday before Thanksgiving, Friday, Saturday, and then we get into the Thanksgiving week. So, um, Becky, I guess, yeah, it kind of is for locals, but then we'll do something on Black Friday too. Okay, or whatever that, I don't know, that's Kristen's thing. I Be quiet, I'm going to get me in trouble, get all of us in trouble. There's a couple more comments. All right. Now, Granny Sweater, I don't know, super, super cute. Um, yeah, you're just going to have to go back, you guys, and scrub through. That's all I'm going to say. So have a good one, and um, see you later. Bye-bye.
Thanks for watching and spending your time with me.